Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 35-year-old female who complained of shoulder pain and swelling for many months, and the history also stated no prior trauma, but that's the only history we got, and she had a normal appearing shoulder joint. So this is the humeral head, this is the cup it's in, the glenoid, there was no definite labral tear, her biceps looked good, there was no rotator cuff tear, so the typical findings that we see um, are not present, just a pretty normal shoulder joint itself, but she had some other findings that are very atypical, so we're confused on this one. This is fluid behind the deltoid muscle. This is the deltoid, the front side and back of the deltoid. There's some fluid over the posterior surface, deep to the subcutaneous fat, which is dark, and that fluid went all the way around towards the front. Also, there, there's some fluid in the front of the shoulder joint and also in some of the rotator cuff muscles. So this is the front muscle here in the anterior shoulder. This is the subscapularis muscle, and it's foggy, bright. This looks more normal back here, but this is, again, too ill-defined and bright. So she has myositis, which is unexplained, a little bit of brightness back here in the posterior rotator cuff muscle, so myositis back here as well. And without trauma, this is very unusual. So you think of like a polymyositis or some funny neurological injury that could cause uh, muscle edema or reflex sympathetic dystrophy would be kind of strange, but it could cause unusual findings within the subcutaneous soft tissues and deep tissues like this. The marrow was normal, but nothing fit very well. Now in this region is the left axilla. The axilla was abnormal. If we go to this view, this is the midline view, and I'm gonna go forward, and over here we have this ill-defined hyperintense signal all throughout the axilla, and it looks like it comes up here towards the brachial plexus. So around the neurovascular structures, things are ill-defined and prominent. Down here in the arm, the brachial region, these neurovascular structures look normal, but again, up here in the axilla, they look abnormal all the way through here. This is a sagittal view. We can see the increased signal here in the front. We see the fluid in the back and from this is the front of the rotator cuff muscles. This is that fluid behind the deltoid. Very unusual to see all this edema. These are two ribs. This and this are two ribs that are too bright so there's marrow edema within the ribs. So another um, unusual finding to have marrow edema on top of all these other things. And so we gave a big differential, of maybe a polymyositis or possibly um, the reflex of the dystrophy or maybe some um, smoldering um, other problem related to um, undiagnosed cancer or autoimmune condition. So we threw in lots of things. Eventually the orthopedic surgeon called back and said that he talked to the patient and she had history of breast cancer with a radical node dissection and radiation therapy. So things finally fell into place. So we assume that these things are related to uh, demon swelling here or from the radical node dissection and radiation uh, therapy. And the muscle edema here is in the field and edema back here related to post-radiation myositis. You could also have radiation necrosis um, with the injury of the muscles or the neurologic structures causing a demon like this as well. But it looks like these findings are related to uh, the post-therapeutic changes. And again, the rib changes here are related to the radiation therapy. And with the radical node dissections, they can get lymphedema. So I believe some of the superficial stuff is related to lymphedema um, on top of the uh, radiation myositis. So an unusual uh, case, uh, the orthopedic surgeon is going to get back with um, the oncologist and um, do some further workup. But um, an unusual case that had us stumped at first until we got a good clinical history. Thank you very much.